Hi and welcome. I'm Jim Bennett. I'm the city manager, and this is this week's update of the things that will be coming up on the city council and finance committee agenda for March 2nd, 2021. Uh, it's nice to be sitting back in the council chambers, even though the the meeting will not be here. It's been about a year since the council's been here. Um, on Tuesday, we have three big items that the or four big items that the council will be taking a look at as the finance committee. Um, they're going to take a look at the uh, audit for last year. Um, that is an independent audit that provides a report on how the city did financially. It's a very good audit. Um, one of the items in particular that the audit uh, firm always does is it reports on any deficiencies or any concerns that happened during the year that management did um, that the council should be aware of. And, it's common that you will have a half a dozen to a dozen items. Um, this year, we, we do have a number of items, uh, four or five items that were related to the city that um, were not the best practices. Uh, they're not significant and they have been corrected, but the, um, as a matter of public disclosure, uh, the Finance Committee will talk about that. The second piece is, uh, I think, exciting and big news. Uh, the city has been preliminarily awarded a $1,150,000 grant in order to be able to do upgrades to the Pearl Street area. And for those who don't know what Pearl Street is, that's the, um, the street that goes down from Lincoln Street down to the river um, where the old Merck facility used to be. The city has been working for, on a, a project of about $2.3 million to upgrade that area to complement all the other changes that are going on, and we've received a 50% grant. So on Tuesday night, the, the city council needs to formally vote to accept that grant and to commit the necessary funds that are going to be required to, for the match requirements. I'm happy to report that the vast majority of that money will be funded by the TIF um, in the downtown. So, um, the vast majority of those monies will not be paid for by the general taxation. We also have um, two other items. One is um, a sort of a administrative procedural item that we have to do in order to uh, move ahead with the next step of addressing the intersection of Hill, Main, and Water um, that is slated to be able to have a traffic light that will be put there to deal with that traffic and the council will take the action to endorse the study and the work that needs to be done. And then finally, um, the city had some compliance issues with um, the HUD program, the community development program. Um, back in the 1980s and the 1990s, every municipality was supposed to put together a, um, an ADA, uh, American Disabilities Act compliance report and submit that. Um, we have dug high and low through all the records and everything we can, and it does not appear that the city of Bedford did that at, um, at that time. And so there has been noted as a deficiency in the um, community development block grant program. And uh, we have a, a report to the council to explain that deficiency and what we will need to do in order to be able to com comply with that. The good news is that there isn't any financial penalties or, or anything that's associated with that non-compliance. Um, it's simply a, um, I would describe an embarrassing um, oversight um, that needs to be corrected. Finally, um, there's this other issue that we'll be dealing with as we always deal with it, usually in the first of March. I'll be presenting my suggested or budget for the upcoming year. Uh, we're still working on the details with that, but uh, if uh, things um, go as I believe they will, like much as they have over the last five years, the budget has been very responsive um, and um, been done in such a way that it has really not had a significant impact on the property taxpayers within the community. Um, of course, this is my suggestion, so what I believe the council should do, the council will take um, the whole month of March and April and even part of May to go through that, look at every dime, every penny and every nickel. Um, and make the changes they deem to be appropriate before it ends up um, being adopted. You, uh, everybody in the community will have an opportunity to make comments on that budget um, at two different times. We usually go two different public hearings and those will be publicized well in advance so that you can provide your thoughts around how you would like your money spent. So hopefully you'll have an opportunity to join us and uh, participate in the meeting if you wish. Thank you.